Look, I'm going to show you uh, one of the ways you can use ChatGPT in board game development. Uh, I have here ChatGPT, as you can see up here, and I have a Google document with a description of my uh, a board game I'm making. Uh, it's prefaced by uh, a text here saying uh, something that I'm going to feed this to ChatGPT. And I'm saying, here's a board game, and I will ask you questions, and I want you to help me create a great game. I mean, digest the description, just say, I'm ready to help. Copying all of this, going to chat GPT, pasting it all in. It reads and says, hopefully, that it's ready to help me. And this is, well, I'm going to do some dialogue here with chat GPT. And this is improvised. I have not tried these things before, so let's see. Uh, there are three types of tray drones in the game. Do you think should be more types? Let's actually just say, can you summarize the game in 50 words or so? And this could be a, a way to create pitches as well. Okay, cooperative games, stop the evil Andromeda. Who wants to drain the world of adventure, color, and free will? Traveling place, traveler city, yada, yada, yada. All right. Uh, there are three types of drain drones in the game. These are the ones uh, that are trying to drain will power from the uh, players. Do you think there should be more types? Uh, I have three different types, and I think uh, I'm thinking they should give bonuses of three different type uh, kinds when defeated. All right, and let's see five more. So just just to see. Uh, this is one of the really good things, uh, things that ChatGPT is really good at, just throwing ideas into the air. Uh, the ones I have are physical, psychic and digital drain drones. Uh, uh, perhaps time, I don't know, yeah, that could probably be nice. Uh, and then just to sh uh, show what uh, ChatGPT could do more when it comes to generating ideas, can you give me names and short descriptions for 10 uh, psychic drained drones? And this is how I usually work with ChatGPT when creating or designing board games. Having some idea, I want to just uh, have someone to, to bounce it off. And if I had a, a fellow game developer, I would probably have, well, I would have a better time talking to them. But ChatGPT is available all the time and it's really quick. So that's good. All right, and here are some ideas for or foes to include in the game. One of the uh, side effects of doing this is that I create this uh, one and a half, two pages of text describing my game, which is really useful. Summarizing it to myself, uh, writing down the things that I think are important and I want to build on further, like that. Uh, yeah, okay, so ChatGPT is really good when it comes to languages so you can ask for improving language i have campaigns in this game so i have um, fed the campaign story text to to chat gpt and asked for suggestions and evaluations and improvements works really well uh, it kind of sucks at math so let's see one port no that's not um 
don't need to see how, how bad it is at calculating. Um, how do you think this can be more uh, available? And write follow up questions to this. I want to ask what the most complex thing in the game is. And as uh, I would say with anything where you use ChatGPT, you should have your judgment always ready because half of the it, it could be great ideas, it could be really lousy ideas. But having ChatGPT generating a lot of ideas and having ChatGPT available at all times to just uh, bounce ideas with is uh, is useful. Okay, could be ma uh, mathematics strategies and rules, mastering the controls and what uh, part of the rules would you say uh, are most complex. Yeah, and after talking a while with ChatGPT, I need to restart because chat gpt remembers 2000 ish words so it has probably already started to forget parts of the game description now let's actually try that again there's the game and it's ready i hope checks yeah huh. it kind of summarizes all the rules here says so that's, that's cheating So uh, you've seen some examples here. I think that could be enough. Let's actually try something. See if it thinks uh, network error. This means I just wanted to read that. Let's let's reload. Copy this again. Ugh. Reload that. This is one of the drawbacks with using ChatGPT. It's kind of overloaded. Uh, I haven't tried this one before. It's no guarantee, of course, but it kind of thinks this game has something new, uh, brings something new to the table. That's nice. What's, what's the selling point of this game? And 
should say that it's uh, that you can start uh, playing without reading the rules. But it actually talks more about the the world, the game board. That's interesting. Yeah. Which is probably because this uh, this text doesn't talk very much about rules uh, about the game world. It describes the um, uh, the mechanics pretty well. Uh, oh, anyhow, thank you for watching. I hope you had some uh, um, use of this and that you can use ChatGPT to improve your own or as a useful tool in your own board game development. Thank you. Goodbye.